Okay, if you saw the video I did earlier, um, where we demoed these uh, Aqua Illumination Vega lights, the uh, LED system that's hanging here above our 75 gallon mixed reef tank, um, you probably got a pretty good idea of what the Vegas can and can't do, um, which haven't found a whole lot they can't do, to be honest with you. But some of the features that we demonstrated in the uh, earlier video were kind of lost. Uh, the the um, after I reviewed the video, the some of the effects were kind of lost because of the daylight time that we did it. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to cut out a lot of the light here and uh, try to do another video at night. And we're going to highlight a few features that um, that I that I believe are best suited for the nighttime. Uh, one of the first features we're going to we're going to highlight is the um, is the uh, the test run mode. So basically um, you get your lights, uh, you get your timer set up and set it for the time zone that you're in or one of um, one of the various uh, uh, reefs around the world um, whether it be the Great Barrier Reef or here we have our set up for the um, Caribbean reefs. Um, uh, aqua illumination with the uh, with the new controller you can set that in you can tell them you want it to simulate the um, Caribbean reef and it just does that for you so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the new controller allows us to go through that timer that 24 hour cycle in about two minutes so we're going to run through a test run on these lights and, and show that 24 hour cycle in two minutes so let me run through our um, run through our controller here. Yeah, that's not the button I wanted. Almost got it so dark I can't see. Here we go. So we're gonna do a test run. It's gonna go through a 24-hour cycle really fast. It'll take only about two minutes. Happens really fast. Um, I gotta tell you when I first got these lights I sat here and um, for the first two or three days I, I was up at six o'clock in the morning sitting here drinking coffee and watching this. Um, I don't know the uh, the this sped up run doesn't really display how well um, aqua illumination has simulated a sunrise. This thing starts very slowly, dramatic, uh, left to right. You start getting a little bit of light on the left, and it slowly starts to creep to the right. Uh, my normal sunrise and sunset uh, takes about four hours to complete. So I go from around 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, in sunrise mode, and then, then it's 11 a.m. to 3 to 4 p.m. full sun, and then everything starts to fade away, as you just saw. really neat because it not only does moonrise or sunrise it also does moonrise it actually gets darkest before the dawn here so it's really dark and depending on what phase of the moon we're in right now there we go we'll start to lighten back up as the moon starts to come up really really awesome features that they've uh, loaded into the Vegas Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing we're going to do, and what was really washed out in the first video, is the weather effects. So, I'm going to go back through my controller here, and uh, we're going to go to our weather effects, and we're going to I'm show you what a thunderstorm looks like at night. Um, 
you don't get the full effect really unless you're sitting here with me watching this tank but um, the best effect I can give you is a nighttime thunderstorm they're pretty awesome So here we go, we're going to start a thunderstorm here. There's our cloud cover coming in. Okay, we've got the um, we got the thunderstorm, and so now we've highlighted pretty much what I wasn't able to show you in full effect in the daytime. So again, thank you for watching, and see you next time.